Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Simply Techie. And for my today's video, we are going to try to bypass or um, what do you call this one? We are going to erase the iCloud account on this iPad 3 or iPad 3rd generation, 32GB Wi-Fi version. So, um, without further ado, let's start this process. Okay guys, if you haven't watched my uh, iCloud videos before, please watch it so that you have an idea on how to do this process. So the CPI ID of this device is 8945. I usually use the um, Apple Tech 752 purple sliver to check the CPI ID of the device that I'm going to bypass. It is, it is very important for us to check it before before proceeding on the method so that um, uh, it will not cause any problems to us. So as you can see on the screen right now on the Arduino software, on the sketch I will going to put the A5 underscore 8945 and I will going to upload this sketch to this Arduino setup. So yeah, if you want to bypass A5 devices included included the uh, iPad 3, you need to have this I Arduino setup. So this is a Arduino R3 Uno and partner with a USB host shield. So yeah, this is the way I upload the data. First, I check the port. I need to make sure that the Arduino is has been read by the Mac or the system and as you can see right now it says that it's done uploading so when it is done uploading we can now proceed to the pawn the FU mode and now guys to enter the pawn the FU mode first you need to boot into the DFU mode regular DFU mode after booting into the regular DFU mode you need to plug in your device on the Arduino setup and the uh, Plug your Arduino to the PC for a source of power supply of power, sorry, and then wait until the LED light have its steady light or stays lighted. After that, it's an indication that our iPad now is on the Pond DFU mode. So as you can see right now, it's I am following the instruction on the purple sliver. IBS has sent successfully so pretty much everything in this is self-explained and uh, you will be guided by the software itself so as you can see oops your device has exited the pawn DFU or failed sometimes and oftentimes the iPad 3 is um, not just so easy to bypass so you need a lot of patience to do this unlike the iPad mini 1 uh, most of but most of the time, every time I bypass and rem I cloud remove iPad Mini One, it took just um, one try, or um, I don't need to retry it because on the first on the first try is so it is always successful. Unlike this iPad Three, it says that you may going to repeat the method five or ten times. So that's a lot of that's a lot of um, time. And that's a lot of um, repeat. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I am retrying the method until we can successfully enter the pawn DFU, and um, and hopefully no errors may occur this time. So let's go. Okay, guys. So after almost five retries, we successfully booted on the purple mode. Yeah, if you want to rewrite or change the serial number of this iPad of A5 dev devices, you need to access the um, pur purple mode of the device. So you need to use this purple sliver. And this software is free, but um, this will only works on the Mac OS. 
unfortunately we don't have any version of this software for Windows OS so now I'm going to um, I'm going to check if we can re we can write the serial number of this one because this in this part we may have encountered another problem because I am using a generic 30 pin cable or DCST cable for this one actually I need to have the the authentic Alex cable but I don't have and I don't have access to that cable so I will try this generic one so let's go okay as you can see my iPad is now plugged on the Mac operating system using the 30 pin DCST cable and as you can see the USB serial is already appear on the Magic CFG software but unfortunately Magic CFG can't read the system CFG Okay guys and because we cannot um, remove the iCloud of this iPad so our next option is to bypass this iPad using the regular um, Sliver 6 uh, version 6 of the Apple Tech website so as you can see right now I am here on the regular sliver software on my Mac operating system and I'm holding the iPad 3 and let's go and try this to bypass this one actually the method on removing and bypassing this iPad is almost the same so the foundation of the method is um, coming from the Arduino or the Pondi if you're using the RAM disk method using the the Arduino setup so let's go now let's open the iPad 3 bypasser so this is a um, standalone application um, especially made for the iPad 3 so we got we're going to select the exact model of this iPad 3 if you have the Wi-Fi version then select the iPad 3 Wi-Fi if you have the GSM then select the GSM or the CD CDMA select the CDMA if you want to know what version of your iPad of your iPad is you just need to look at the model number at the back bottom of your iPad and then um, search it on Google and um, yeah you can see if it is um, part what of what its particular version sorry okay now as you can see we have here the instructions to follow so the first instruction is to connect your iPad into the regular DFU mode to do that guys you just need to hold the power and home button until the iPhone is or the iPhone the iPad is um, on the black screen and then after that we are going to use the Arduino setup we are going to unplug our device to the PC or to the Mac and going to plug it on the Arduino and wait for the LED light to blink three times and then steady for the last four blink and then um, yeah. until we saw that steady light it's an indication that our iPad is on was already on the phone DFU mode okay as you can see we have here the instructions good thing about this application is that um, every time you use this application it has a instructions to follow so even if you don't watch this video if you already have this application it's, that will be easier for you to follow it and um, you can bypass your device without any failure so let's go and forward okay so it took a few retry to successfully loaded the IBSS so once it is loaded we are good to go just follow the instructions disconnect wait for five seconds okay after that yeah unplug the device for five seconds and then replug it on your Mac operating system and then click next so after clicking next the software itself will do its job and just we just need to wait until um, the RAM disk logo appear on this iPad 3 so as you, as you can see we have here the Apple Tech RAM disk logo or uh, logo and um, this loading bar right here on the uh, screen of our iPad 3 
So that is an indication that um, the RAM disk is already sent to our um, iPad 3. So now we are going to make a selection. What I am going to select right now is to delete the setup.app. Just click delete setup.app and then after that our iPad will reboot and after the booting time we will be booted on the home screen. Okay, let me fast forward this video. Okay, as you can see right now, the iPad 3 is now rebooting itself. So we have now on, we are now on the Apple logo. And let us uh, wait until the iPad is fully booted. So as you can see, we don't, we have passed the activation screen or what they call the hello screen. And we are now on the home screen. The next thing to do guys is to factory activate it. So just repeat the process. Um, but this time we are going to select the factory activation rather than selecting the delete setup that app. Factory activation is important if you want your device to be sync to sync on the iTunes software or application. So every time you plug your iPad on your computer and open iTunes the iPad itself will be read by the iTunes as factory activated. If you don't do this uh, method, if you, do if you don't do this method, guys, what will appear on the iTunes if you don't do this method is that your iPad 3 is still on the iCloud um, lock, iCloud activation. So, yeah, it is very important for us to do this because... We need to factory activate the device. So yeah, the instruction is on the software itself. So you don't need to worry um, how to do this. Okay, now that the iPad is successfully activated or factory activated, we can now quit the sliver and let's open iTunes and check if our device will go into sync in. So as you can see, it says that we can now select or set this iPad as a new iPad. And we can now sync to iTunes. We can now um, put music, movies, mu um, videos on this iPad using the iTunes software. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this. God bless. Peace out.